Greetings and welcome back to another Metal Gear Solid 5 FOB video event guide. The FOB event for the next two weeks is Bound Dragons, and that's going to end on the 2nd of March. The mission tasks for hard mode difficulty are as follows. Neutralize six security guards. Fulton six security guards. Neutralize 12 security guards total. Shoot the weak point of a UAV at a range of 90 meters or more. Infiltrate successfully. Infiltrate with no kills and no alerts. Infiltrate as a staff member with a rank bonus of 1.01 .01 or higher. That means no snake and no custom character. And infiltrate successfully within 480 seconds or 8 minutes. Today we're going to be bringing the Grade 1 Wind Ruger Silent Pistol. We're going to customize that as following. Go ahead and attach the extended magazine. Go ahead and attach the Grade 3 suppressor or the best suppressor available to you. I'm also going to go ahead and make that match my camo. You do not need to do this. And basically, the only reason we're bringing this is because um, it's not going to do anything to these guys in riot suits. But you can still ping a wall with it or ping the floor or hit something else. And uh, it'll cause a little, little bit of a sound and it'll get the guy to look behind them or turn around for a second or two. I don't even think we use it for that, but it is a possible use and it is something to keep in mind. And, I mean, got to fill the slot up with something, so... We're also going to bring the Grade 7 S1000 Air Shotgun. We're going to customize that as follows. The default stock is just fine. The default muzzle is just fine. For the muzzle accessory, we're going to attach the Grade 2 Suppressor, or the best suppressor available to you. Uh, any dot sight of your choice is just fine. Leave the flashlight on there. We're going to attach a laser sight as well. And I'm going to, uh, again, make it match my camo. You do not need to do this. And last but not least, we're going to be bringing along the Grade 5 Bambitov SV Sniper Rifle. Customized as following. Go ahead and attach an improved barrel on there if you have it. We're going to change out the magazine for the 75 rounder drum magazine. Default stock is just fine. Default muzzle is just fine. For the muzzle accessory, we're going to go with the grade 3 suppressor or the best suppressor available to you. For the scope, as always, we're going to go with the RF scope, 2-8 to times zoom. Go ahead and put a flashlight on there. The laser sight is just fine. The underbarrel foregrip is also just fine as well. And once more, we're going to make that match our camo. And once more, you do not need to do this. Today we're going to be infiltrating the base development platform. We're going to be dropping in at the default location. We're going to be bringing that Grade 7 S1000 air shotgun that we customized. We're also going to be bringing that Grade 5 Bambi Tov SV sniper rifle we customized. We're also going to bring that Grade 1 Wind Ruger Silent Pistol that we customized, although we probably aren't going to be using it. We're also going to bring magazines, going to definitely get some use out of them. Grade 5 Sleep Gas Grenades, and Grade 4 Smoke Grenades. We're also going to bring our Night Vision Goggles, and our Grade 5 Nocto Cyanin. We're also going to be bringing our weakest, cheapest Wormhole Fultons. 
We're also going to uh, be playing as a staff member with a rank bonus of 1.01 or higher. Flaming Buffalo works perfectly for our needs. But remember, you cannot use Snake or the custom character. And we are going to be wearing a uniform with metal or concrete surfaces in the description. And as usual, drop in at night. So from the beginning, run, 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 run up the double set of stairs. You should note you're much slower, so consequently you're going to have to hit the deck a lot sooner before you become visible than normal. And as usual, slow and low is the name of the game here. While we have this uh, long crawl to the far side of the platform, let's go ahead and get some marking done. We're at a pretty decent angle to get a few marks. And as long as you stay uh, sort of on the outskirts of this platform, crawling along, you really should not be spotted. So again, just keep it slow and low. And once we sort of get to the, the bend here, sort of start, you know, going around to the other side. Let's see, who else can we see? Not really much else. So alright, let's go ahead and flip it the other way. We'll get a few marks here just because we can, although we are not going to be staying long. Let's get that topped off. One more shot can be the difference between life or death, especially for uh, the shotgun that only holds five rounds maximum. Again, slow and low, keep it going. Um, I'm just, I, I, I sometimes switch to a crouch walk, but sometimes they will spot you. And if this guy right here, for example, if you stood up and crouched, he would definitely soft spot you. So we're just going to stay low, let him pass. Now that we got a little bit of breathing room, let's go ahead and get some distraction mags set out. We want them to be looking towards the center or the right of the platform. We are going to go to the left of the platform. And if we do this right, we will be able to get off of yet another platform without incident. Now, we do have an 8-minute time limit we're working with. However, um, the, the less eyes we have on us, the better. So it is worth it to go a little bit slower sacrifice a little bit of time to make our life a little bit easier. Alright, we're doing pretty good here on the second platform. We should be leaving momentarily. I did not anticipate this guy. Alright. So it looks like we're kind of going to be forced into a bit of a situation here. So we're going to go ahead and start the aggro a little bit sooner than planned. But uh, hey, these things happen. We're going to go ahead and smoke these guys out. And um, we're not going to... We're, we're, we're going to let this situation work to our advantage. We're going to go ahead and get a couple of Fultons in. You know what? You get a smoke grenade too, buddy. While smoke grenades won't knock them out, it will incapacitate them uh, like this. It will basically cause them to spaz out a little bit and for the duration of the smoke grenade they won't be able to spot you or attack you or radio in or really anything else so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna bounce off of this platform get out of here 
Uh, this would be the ideal time to start thinking about getting a, uh, a UAV kill in. Alright, let's take care of this guy. Time to knock Doe up so we can see where everyone's at. We're going to sleep grenade these guys. And now let's start thinking about these UAVs. Remember the green point, uh, like right around the little camera thing. That's the weak spot. One shot, it's down. Alright, so that started their little sniper alert, which uh, is quite a pain. Um, and that basically is going to make them all kind of go into cover, and they're going to whip out their binoculars, and they can soft spot you and potentially, for real, spot you from much further away. But we can wait that out for just a little bit. Um, if you can hold off on doing that, if you can knock the UAVs into the ocean rather than having them explode on the platform, hey, that would be ideal. That would work better. But this is just to show you that you can still get this little sniper alert thing and still complete it with more than enough time. So we're just going to chill out. We're just going to hang out for a bit. I contemplate taking down this UAV over here. And right as I'm thinking of doing it, it just dips out. Oh well. Once they say they've lost the enemy sniper, that's basically your your all clear sign to start kind of uh, your your approach onto this last platform. But uh, do be cautious because they will still be on a little bit of a heightened state of alert. I'm going to lay down a smoke grenade for cover here, and I'm going to kind of go crazy with the last of these sleep gas grenades. We're essentially going to try to clear out as many people as we can with them before we begin our final approach. Use your, um, use your thermal goggles to see through the smoke. Make sure to get this area up top. Get these guys... Let's see if we can get this guy on a Hail Mary. Alright, I do believe we've got one, maybe two more Fultons to get. We'll see. Is that going to be our last one? Yes, that will be our last one. Alright, so go ahead and hop up top. And we're going to check our mission tasks once more before we leave. The other four will pop as soon as we go right out the door. So that's Bound Dragons in hard mode difficulty. Is it still difficult? Yes. Is it doable? Also yes. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. Please do throw me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Those are always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching the video, and until next time, have a good one.